I wanted to see what would happen if I decided to wear braces. Today, I have an appointment with my hygienist. <laughs> hey you guys, it is Friday the 21st of May and today I have an appointment with my hygienist. It's always a good idea to go to hygienist once, at least once every three months when you embrace this because it is really difficult to clean that stuff. So I'm going to do that, but honestly, I cannot be bothered to go anywhere. It's been raining so much for the last, I don't even remember the last sunny day we had. It's probably been like a month or something. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go to the hygienist. I've decided not to work today because I literally cannot. I'm so tired and I'm watching a lot of skateboarding tournaments and a lot of Formula One tournaments and stuff. And I just can't be bothered to, to do any work, so fuck it taking a day off. Anyway, going to a hygienist and that's about it. My Fodontech adjustment appointment is on the 3rd of June in two weeks time. 3rd of June is my next appointment when they'll be changing stuff around and nothing much other than that. You know, nothing's happening. I'm just focusing my efforts on working on the documentary. This weekend I'll be working on a plan how to organize it around and make it as interesting and helpful and informative as it could be. I'm trying to evolve as many people as I can and yeah, it's it's really interesting. Already content that I'm getting from people is really, really good. I'm really excited about the whole thing, but really freaking tired. I'm so tired. It's never ending. Hey guys, weather proper sucks today. This is awesome, this is something new. I love the sign, okay, yeah, it says, please do not climb or sit on the elephants. No shit, <laughs> but I swear to God, people still do that, right? That's sick. Yeah. There you go. Hey, you guys, I'm once again one hour early. It's really freaking frustrating. I can't properly time everything because my trains run every 20 minutes. Sometimes there's delays. So yeah, I'm one hour early and it's really cold. The weather is awful. I have to hang for an hour. To go coffee. Coffee is really good. Got some time apart. This really awesome gallery that I'm about to go to. We'll hopefully be able to film some stuff. I just came out of the wine tasting. The hour that I had to wait is now up and I'm about to go to my hygienist appointment, but I'm a little bit tipsy. I did not expect that I'd be drinking. Oh my gosh, this car color. I did not expect that I'll be drinking. That was so random, but I really enjoyed myself. And I also got inspired to paint that stuff because it's super amazing. It's later. Hey guys, I'm done with my hygienist appointment. It worked great, nothing to report on. Everything is cool. I'm so tipsy though. <laughs> So you guys, I'm still watching the skateboarding tournament. It's gonna run until, I don't know, that's so late because of the rain. I just had an impulse purchase of a freaking dungarees. Dungarees, wanted them my whole life. And I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it, man. I got them. Jump. 
Just the way he skates, the speed he can generate. They have Japan. There is so much talent. Only three spots. Kensuke has problems there early on in the 40-second run. Hey, you guys. I just got... I'm not sure if I told... I think I told you by yesterday I was done Greece because I'm dying to have dangerous for my whole conscious life i think it just arrived whoop, whoop. <laughs> so windy today outside that if you look at my swing and the trees and stuff but specifically swing it may feel like there is a ghost on my freaking swing you know what the most amazing thing would be for the Joto Ryu community? You know, when I was in my discovery stage at the very beginning of my journey, last October, November, I don't know, I was trying to, I didn't even know that jaw surgery would be like a thing that, that will help me fix my stuff. I was not aware of it. If you are not in a jaw surgery mindset or anything, if you don't know about it, you'll just not know. You will never know about this stuff unless you start seeing things start following accounts, seeing everything that's going on. Unless you become a part of this community, you don't know that there's a way to fix stuff. And this is exactly what happened to me. So what I used to do before I got to know about the jaw surgery is I was trying to find an online tool that would basically show me what my teeth, my face, my smile, my profile front would look like if I go ahead with the braces treatment, you know? I wanted to see the end result before I could make a decision on what I want to be doing. And you know, I couldn't find it. It just doesn't exist. It's so strange to me. Why doesn't it exist? It's such an important thing. It's not just functionality side of things. We all know that we want we want a pretty freaking face. At the end of the day, that's all we truly care about. Unless you can't chew and eat and like, yeah, fair enough. But the majority of us just care about the way we look. And I wanted to see what would happen if I decided to wear braces. I wanted to see what would happen if I, at the moment, I want to see the difference of me doing a single jaw surgery versus a double jaw surgery. Genio, no genio. I want to see all of that. I'm sure you can do it. I can't use Photoshop, you know. I use basic as apps on my phone to try and predict what I'll look like. And I understand when people say, when doctors say all these prediction tools are not reliable and all that. I know, it's fine. As long as there's something to determining the difference between this is a crucial part you know if i for example focus on just one root of having a double jaw surgery because you know let's just go crazy let's go for like the most dramatic thing because you know why not if i care enough i would probably do that and this is what i'm going ahead with but yesterday one of my friends had a double jaw surgery sorry she had a single jaw surgery just a lower jaw surgery and the thing is had i not known that she had just a lower jaw surgery. My first thought would be that was clearly a double jaw surgery because you know, but it was just a lower jaw surgery and it looks amazing. The results are already fucking great. The swelling hasn't kicked in yet. So you can kind of see what she'll look like when everything is healed up and stuff. So the, the bottom line of my speech right now is that if I am given a tool that can predict stuff like that, that can kind of show what the end result would be of just one jaw surgery, whether it be an upper jaw surgery or, or bottom jaw surgery or whatever, just one as opposed to two, I would be more calm going into the whole process, you know? Also, like, the cost comes into place. The cost of double jaw surgery is more than the cost of a single jaw surgery. The recovery process is way easier for just one jaw surgery than for a double jaw surgery. I also wanted to say that my doctor said that I need a junior as well for my facial profile to look balanced and all that after the jaw surgery however i kind of like how pointy my chin is but at the same time i don't know what like my whole thing will look like after a double jaw surgery and therefore i cannot make a decision of whether or not i want to go with it it's so difficult to to think in those terms thing is if you're a doctor if you're a surgeon you kind of know what it will look like because you're so experienced and you've seen so many cases and you know you just know what's up at the same time, 
on our end, people who are deciding of what to do, like we don't know that. We really don't. We all want the end result to look good. However, my perception of good might be very different from my surgeon's perception of good. And I do understand that some surgeons provide prediction pictures, but they do that at the very end stages of uh, like right before the surgery, or they don't do that at all. How about providing that kind of information when we the patients are at the very beginning stage of the process, you know, how about that? I want to know that. I want to make a conscious decision of what I'm doing with my life, with my money, with my face, with my mental health before I crack on with this process. Maybe I can involve one of my software development people to potentially get on board with this idea and maybe like create an online tool, online site that will provide that kind of... But why not? I think it would be so cool. <laughs> Yeah.